afternoon, everyone. Kevin here with Halo Power Solutions. Uh, today we're troubleshooting a uh, kitchen where they've lost power in a couple of the outlets, the uh, plug that was power in the fridge and also the dining room plug. And uh, what we found is actually there's a bracket that was installed to install the cabinets. And it looks like it's actually uh, been screwed into the cable coming out of a junction box behind the cabinet that has uh, caused some damage to the wire. And we're actually seeing 120 volts between the bracket. Very, very dangerous situation. Um, surprising it did not trip the breaker. It must have just, just hit that cable the right way. But I'll show you what I found. You can see I've got my meter on here right now. And just by touching the bracket, you can see 120 volts right there. And it's from this screw right here that I've got my meter on. You can see 120 volts. Very dangerous situation. If you touch this bracket and happen to touch the metal box or anything that was grounded, you would be electrocuted. Something that you would never know. Um, thankfully, some of the outlets in the home did stop working after this happened. Um, but again, could have went the other way and uh, this whole bracket's live. Okay, so I'm just going to take a uh, look here at the electrical panel. Uh, anyone who, who who knows anything about me knows I'm a, a big advocate for uh, getting rid of these old uh, Federal Pacific and Federal Pioneer electrical panels. They, uh, you know, they're infamous for having problems with the breakers not tripping. Uh, we've even seen where we've shut breakers off and we still have power up at the outlet after the uh, breakers been shut off. So here's your typical Federal Pacific panel um, used a lot in the 60s, 70s. Um, this one here is it's only a 16 circuit panel. Uh, pretty typical for what you'd find in the older homes. Uh, it is 100 amp, but once again, uh, very problematic with these breakers. So I've removed the screw out of the wall. You can clearly see where it hit the cable. You can actually zoom in here and see uh, it, it took a chunk right out of the threads. You can see it was it was actually, uh, it did short out in there. So here's a real concern for uh, any of you folks that do have these Federal Pacific panels and exactly what I'm talking about. These breakers, uh, they don't trip. You know, keep this in mind. If, if you have one of these Federal Pioneer panels or Federal Pacific panels in your home, uh, you could be doing some renovation work. You could hit a cable and you may not even know that uh, you've got you got the start of a fire starting in your wall. This is this is bad. So I've got the wall opened up where the damaged cable was going up to the attic. You can see right there that uh, was the uh, where the screw went in, and look at these cables burnt to a crisp. Literally just burnt to the point that when I uh, when I reached in and tugged on it, it broke right in half. And I don't know if you can see it in there or not, but uh, the wood itself is actually charred. It was uh, it was burning in the wall. Yeah. So, um, yeah, definitely a, uh, a close call here. This is exactly how fires start in these homes and, you know, make matters even worse. We've got a house that has you know, this wood wood chip wood chip insulation so just a just an unbelievable uh, uh, recipe for disaster here so um, do your research on these federal panels uh, you know don't be afraid to go online type in federal pioneer federal pacific breaker panels and you'll read a lot of uh, really good information it's scary with the problems that uh, these panels have and, and here's the proof right here. I mean, look at that, it, it's burnt right up. So uh, definitely, definitely glad we found this. We're gonna fix this now. I'm actually gonna eliminate this cable altogether and refeed that circuit from, a, uh, from the basement and we'll remove all this burnt wire and get the wall patched up and uh, good as new. And then I'll be talking to the homeowner about replacing that panel. So I've got the damaged wires uh, exposed and you know you can clearly see the shorting happened you know from the hot to the neutral to the ground all three wires are burnt up completely so 
for that to not trip that breaker in that federal panel is just just so scary.